I found a Canva feature that could change the way Etsy sellers create mock-ups. On paper, it promises over a thousand mock-ups in minutes. So I tested it to see if it actually delivers. If it works, it could save you days of repetitive work. In this tutorial, I'll break down the full workflow step-by-step. Step. And along the way, you'll see the one serious limitation most sellers miss. So keep watching to find out if this is just a clever trick or a workflow you can rely on. For this test, I'll be using a wall art template. It's simple, visual, and makes it easy to see what's happening. But the same workflow works with almost any mock-up, t-shirts, mugs, digital prints, you name it. Once you understand the setup, you can apply it to your own products. First step is to start with a good mock-up template. This is non-negotiable. Your template decides how the artwork will drop in later. I'm using a wall art mock-up that includes natural shadows. These are premium templates I purchased from Etsy, but you can start with any clean mock-up that has image placeholders. The key is to make sure the placeholders are clearly defined and have consistent sizing across pages. If your template has multiple layers, move the placeholder image to the top. This is important, and you'll see why in the next section. The simpler the base template, the smoother the automation later. But having the template is only half the story. The real magic happens when you connect it with Canva Sheets. And that's what unlocks the bulk mock-up workflow. Canva Sheets is a new feature inside Canva that works just like a spreadsheet, but it's built directly into your design workspace. It lets you link data like images or text to a template and then generate multiple designs automatically. We're going to use it to map our artwork images into the existing placeholder frames inside the template. To open it, click on Sheets from the Canva menu and create a new sheet. In the first column, type Design. This column will hold all your artwork files. Each row represents one design. Now upload your artwork into Canva and drag each file into its own cell. That's all the setup you need before linking it with your mock-up template and this next part is where Canva starts to feel almost like magic. Now that your sheet is ready, connect it to the mock-up template. Go to Actions and select Bulk Create. A panel will appear on the left. Canva will guide you through a simple three-step process. Step one is set up your data. Select the column you created, Design, and then click Continue. That takes you to step two, choose your template. Here, select the mock-up template you prepared earlier. Once selected, Canva moves to the third step. Connect data to your template. Open the mockup, click the placeholder image, and choose Connect Data. From the drop-down, select Design. Earlier, I mentioned keeping your placeholder layer at the top. This is why. If it's underneath, Canva may not detect it properly during this step. Repeat this process for the remaining templates or pages. Once every placeholder is connected, Move the shadow layer back on top to restore the realistic lighting effect. And here's the best part. Click Create, Number Designs, and Canva will start generating all your mockups automatically. In a few seconds, new Canva doc links will appear right next to your image column. Click any link to open a new Canva document. Your artwork is already applied beautifully across all templates. You can preview each mockup, check the details, and when you're satisfied, download the files. That's it. Your bulk mock-ups are ready. At this point, everything looked perfect. But what happens when you really push Canva Sheets to its limit? The workflow runs smoothly for five or 10 designs, but once you start adding hundreds of artworks, that's where the problems begin. Canva Sheets doesn't allow you to upload large batches of images automatically. You'll need to drag and drop each file manually into the cells one by one. That's fine for a small batch, but at scale, it turns into hours of repetitive work. And this is where the workflow stops feeling automated. You might think about importing your data from Google Sheets or Airtable. But Canva doesn't recognize external image links. Even automation tools like N8N or Make aren't reliable here. They're too slow and clunky for bulk uploads. So yes, Canva Sheets works beautifully for smaller projects. But when you try scaling to hundreds of designs, the manual setup becomes the real bottleneck. And that's the limitation most sellers overlook until they try it themselves. There is a way to automate this part completely, but not with Canva Sheets. But before we move to that automation, it's worth understanding why Canva hits this wall in the first place. 
There are a few quiet details that make this workflow trickier than it looks. For instance, your artwork and placeholders must share the exact same dimensions. Canva won't auto-resize your images, so if you're working with mixed size files, you'll end up adjusting each one manually. Bulk Create feature in Canva Sheets is part of Canva Pro, so free plan users don't get access. And when you finally generate your mockups, Canva saves them as separate Canva docs. That means you still have to download, rename, and organize each file before you can upload to your store. On their own, these sound minor, but together they slow down every step of scaling. So what if you could take the same idea, automatic mock-up creation, and actually make it work at full production scale? That's exactly what Bulk Mockup was designed for. When you run the same process in Bulk Mockup, the difference is immediate. You import your entire artwork folder in one go. No dragging, no manual setup. The tool automatically resizes each design to fit your template, even if the dimensions vary. It also works directly with Photoshop Smart Object templates, so you can use high-quality, angled, or lifestyle mockups that help your listing stand out. Once the renders finish, everything is neatly organized into subfolders, ready to upload straight to your store. In short, bulk mockup gives you the speed Canva promises, but at a scale Canva simply can't match. If you want to see how it can fit into your own workflow, check out bulkmockup.com or book a quick demo to see it in action. And if you're selling wall art, there's one more automation you shouldn't miss. Creating different aspect ratios for every artwork can be painfully time-consuming, but there's a way to do it automatically with just one click. Watch this next video to learn how.